So how do you seam pattern carpet and have it turn out looking fabulous? What's going on? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video I'm going to break down the best and easiest way to seam pattern carpet in a doorway so everything lines up and looks amazing. So you want to know the real trick to seaming pattern carpet and having to look good? Work with patterns that are really easy to work with. That's a secret. That's it. You can click off the video now. Now, here's the deal. Some installers absolutely thrive in an environment of working with tricky, crazy patterns, and they pride themselves on being able to get it done. Me personally, I'm not that dude. I will dodge and duck every crazy pattern job that comes my way, or I'll throw the number so freaking high that if I get the job, then great. I'm getting paid very well to put up with that ultimate headache, and if I scare them away, I'm okay with that too. So here we have a doorway. It's an angled doorway, very simple pattern, just random rows, different color lines. So we, all we did was line the bedroom up with the hallway there. So everything was good to go. And I, you saw in the beginning of the video where I cut a nice straight line with my knife. Next, as you see me doing right there, I was marking the carpet all the way down with my knife, just poking little slices in it. Really, you should only be doing this if you're a pro or a total degenerate hack like myself. So either way, do it with a sharp blade though, but be careful so that you don't lob your hand off and you got other issues to take care of. But when I cut those little slits in it all the way down, all I'm doing is playing connect the dots right now. I'm taking my knife and lining one up with the next. Now, most people cannot pull this off and get a clean cut. Do not worry about it or beat yourself up if you can't do that. By all means, grab a little straight edge, line up each slit, and trace it so that everything lines up perfectly. I've done this once or twice, so I'm able to do it freestyle and still have it turn out invisible. Life's good in my world. Next, once we get to the other end here, we're going to be ready to rock. So we're going to have to get some seam tape under this seam to make sure everything is sticking together. So I'm going to holler for the magic rule of seam tape to show up once I make sure everything's lined up. It looks good so far. And nobody's bringing me any seam tape, so I'm going to go get it on my own. There we go. Seam tape's ready to go. We're going to unroll it so it is the length plus about four inches of the doorway. We're going to pull back one side here. Take the seam tape. We're going to fold down one end, roughly two inches, and we're going to set it right on top of the tack strip, butting it right up to the door jam. Next, we're going to take it to the other side there, doing the same exact thing, folding it under about two inches so it's sitting on top of the tack strip. And the reason we do this, we want to bump it up just a little bit on the tack strip so that seam tape burns evenly all the way across. Tack strip tends to dip down a little bit, so if it's not bumped up, that part doesn't melt and you have dry tape at the very ends of your seam. Not the end of the world, but it can create minor issues. So let that seam iron sit there for a good eight to 10 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and slide it forward and iron's length. We're gonna go ahead and put together the section that we had just melted the seam tape on. Look at that slow moving finesse there. Basically just making sure the pattern's lining up okay, nothing's out of the whack on it. And if it shifts a quarter inch or so, all you do is you take your kicker and lightly, and I mean lightly, just tap it around so that everything lines back up and you're good to go. If you get any strings, be extremely careful and you could either trim them or you could tuck them down into the glue. Either way, do not get aggressive with this because this could kill your pattern lineup. We're just gonna continue sliding the iron along Every 8 to 10 seconds or so, you send in an iron's length forward. And then when we get to the other end here, we're going to go ahead and swoop that out, put it on the tray, finish putting the seam together, and that's all there is to it. You get a B-minus quality seam. And hey, in the carpet game, if anything above a C-plus is good to go. You're getting paid. So that's why you DIYs can thrive in this world here. Take the seam iron. Here's the wrist trick. Watch this. Lift it up, slide it, because a lot of people want to pull it straight out when they're total newbies, and it takes the tape with it, and it creates a glue mess on everything. So make sure you got that technique down when you're pulling the seam iron out so you don't make a major disaster. Oh, look at Chase Nasty just putting his shoes all up in the camera view there. Anyway, as always, I appreciate you tuning in. Check out the other videos in the playlist. Text me at 440-678-1151 with any questions, and I'll connect with you on the next video.